Can I get to your program? I lost mine. Can I get to your program? I left mine with him. Yes.
Good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to welcome each of you today as we come together as a family, as a community, as a brother or nephew, parents, and children to celebrate the life of Rawl Searles. We, when we're born, we don't know if we'll uh, maybe become rich or be successful, but for those who see this life as a stepping stone for a greater possibility, there's no such thing as failure. To be alive today is to succeed and to prepare for something greater is to live a successful life. Uh, and uh, we, we may all come here and we don't know what we'll achieve in life, but one thing is for certain is that we will all fall dead one day. And so civilizations have always seen death as sacred. We know that as a life, we're all complete life, and sometimes life chooses to leave in a, what we know as an untimely manner, whether it's by sickness or you had an accident or somehow the body became uh, unsuitable to contain that life, and then life chooses to leave. And so we respect that and respect all life, and I thank you all for being here this afternoon. We will begin our ceremony, our celebration, with an opening prayer led by Mrs. Joan Lewis. We'll continue to sing and celebrate together, join our hearts, and, and support each other in this time of loss. We'll have tributes by loved ones, along with reading of scriptures and a song and eulogy done by mourning brother and sister. So thank you all for being here as we join together in love and say goodbye to our dear friend, Roll. Thank you all. Good afternoon, one and all. <coughs> I just have one request. If you have a cell phone, can you either mute it or put it on vibrate? Thank you. Would you join with me in prayer, please? Lord, we thank you for bringing us together this afternoon so we can celebrate. Celebrate the life of Roald. As we begin the funeral service, we ask for your presence of your Holy Spirit in this place. May your Spirit bring us comfort and peace to every one of us so that we can be able to mourn as believers. Holy Spirit, take full control and help us to do this as unto the Lord and not as unto ourselves. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. I'd like to invite Sister Lydia as she leads us as she leads us in a song together, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. And uh, as we know, Jesus walked this earth just like us, and he taught us uh, technology to experience God, to experience death before falling dead. 
simply to do this is to find stillness within yourself. Just by sitting with your eyes closed, you can, you can be with it. So let's join together as we raise our voices and sing. Pleasant good afternoon, one and all. As we come to celebrate the life and death of our dear brother, Ron, as a young child, um, I used to bring him to school, me and Hannah. So I was like his little nanny. And may the Lord make peace with his soul. Let's join together as we sing what a friend we have in Jesus on your song sheet. What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often fall. like to invite for the reading of like to invite for the reading of the 23rd Sam Saviel The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in the green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Though pre th thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies, thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever.
our next song on the song sheet, When We All Get to Heaven. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. This time, I'll invite to the stage Kaylin and Nunsi as they read a poem from the heart. <laughs> the Broken Chain. We little knew that morning that God was going to call your name. In life, we loved you dearly. In death, we do the same. It broke our hearts to lose you. You did not go alone, for a part of us went with you. The day God called you home, you left us peaceful memories. Your love is still our guide. Although we cannot see you, you are always at our side. Our family chain is broken, and nothing seems the same. But as God calls us one by one, the chain will link again. In a time of great loss, when someone has filled a space in our heart, 
for, for a lifetime. Being without them now and having that empty space in our hearts, it's important to, to take some time to ourselves and to be with death and to really accept the mor mortality of our lives. We may think, you know, there's so much to do. We may become so busy, we often forget that it's not time that we're losing, it's our life that's ticking away. And it's important to remind yourself, whether it's every hour, every 30 minutes, just check and see if you're alive. If you are, take a deep breath and smile. And smile to the people around you. And really just be with each other. I'd like to invite up for a second tribute. Afternoon to everybody. I'm going to draw a tribute for a rolling song. And the song is, if I, tears will never stain the streets of that city. If I could count all the tears that has fallen, it would seem like an ocean to me. My heart were a window you can look through. Oh, all the pain and scars you would see. But this will never say the street. Of the city, no reef of death on my mansion door. I won't welcome beyond the gates of glory, cause the heart will. question the loss of a loved one the grace seems so final and cool but we will meet again where death has no victory in a land where we never, never, never grow old. I have never met one man without sorrow. Never looked into the eyes with no pain. But there's a land where that is a total stranger And songs of joy are the only song they sing But tears would never stain the streets of that city no reef of death on his mansion door. Teardrops aren't welcome beyond the gates of glory. Cause the heart will never break any.
The Lord said he will never leave us, neither forsake us. And let us not mourn as one that has no hope. Because we have hope, our hope is in the Lord. And we that are alive today, let us make our part right with him. Amen. Let us try to put our life in God's hands. So that whatever, whenever he decides that it's your moment and he wants to call you home, you are ready. Let us use this occasion as a time to reflect and check ourselves. Because Raul did not have no time. No time. Today, tomorrow, and he was gone. You have the time. No excuse. Get ready to meet your God. Amen. Let us sing our next song, A Shelter in the Time of Storm, and your shelter. The Lord's our rock, in him we hide, a shelter in the time of storm. Be pure, whatever ill be tied, a shelter in the time of storm. Oh, Jesus is the rock. Shade by day, defend by night, a shelter in the time of storm. No fears are fright, no foes are fright, a shelter in the time of storm. Mighty rock in a weary land, close shade of, sorry at that. I'm apologizing because this is new to me. Oh, Jesus is the rock in our weary land. A weary land. A weary land. Oh, Jesus is the rock in our weary land. A shelter in the time of storm. The raging storm may Shelter in the time of storm. Oh, Jesus is the rock in a weary land. Oh, yes, a weary land. A weary land. Oh, Jesus is the rock in a weary land. Oh, yes, a shelter in the time of storm. The raging. Some may round us be a shelter in the time of storm. We'll never leave our safe retreat, a shelter in the time of storm. Oh, Jesus is the I do want to apologize, that's a new, new to me, but the last words in the song here says, um, a mighty rock in a weary land, closing shade on the burning sand, faithful guide for the pilgrim land, a shelter in the time of storm. May the Lord continue to bless you. We'd like to invite up for another tribute, Lady C. I 
stage. Good afternoon, everyone, and thanks for having everyone's presence here. It's obviously a tough moment for everybody, but that too shall pass, just like he has. And he's always be here with us in our hearts. This I'm reading on behalf of someone. It says, Rawl Sales, my man, we have done many crazy things in the past, like going hunting, crabbing, and mostly fishing. Never forget the time when our family had the Coast Guard looking for us at sea. Whenever I travel to Grenada, I always remember you call out, Tony man, let's go fishing tonight. Now the Lord has taken you into his arms, and you have no more pains. He will look after your loved ones. Rawl, I will remember you, your good heart, and your loved ones will be rewarded by me and those who know you. My love always, Tony Ippolat. Ippolat, okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right, I guess since I'm here, I should just say my two words, right? I don't have much. I couldn't finish if I was to say everything that I want, but I met um, Rawl, which is now Lady G for me, uh, a couple years ago, a few years back. And one of the things that Rawl made sure that I felt safe. When he's around, we felt safe. Rawl did everything. He was our cook, our mechanic, our you know, security. He was our fisherman. He did everything. Whenever there was a problem, he would call Lady G, one of the kids, Liam sick, the goat sick whatever it is, or I'm not a meat eater, I don't eat fish, but Lady G was the only person that could fry a piece of fish just perfect enough and call me and say, Lady G, I got something for your comfort. And I would go and we share that. There are many times, because Ben, I don't know where I am, I'll be sitting with Lady G, having a chat about mechanic, garden, the kids, animals, whatever. So I know it's tough for all of us, but life goes on. Remember, in death, it's also a celebration of life. And that's also a point when we check ourselves to ensure that when our time comes, that we are ready to ride out. One thing I know for sure, the last conversation we had, he said we were going to go to sea together. Now I know we might not go to sea together, but he'd always be there with me. Thank you. All right. I'd like to invite for another tribute. Uh, I'll invite Fiona to share another tribute. Pain of grief to a boss mechanic, Rawl Souls, who was a father to my child, Liam Souls. In tears, we saw you sinking. We watched you fade away. Your face your task with courage, your spirit died, your spirit did not bend, and still you keep on fighting until the end. God saw you getting tired when a cure was not to be, so he put his arm around you and so he put his arm around you and whispered, come to me. So when your son, that's Liam Searles, uh, saw you sleeping, so peaceful and face uh, from pain, we could not wish you back uh, to suffer again. You will be always remembered and missed uh, by your family and friends. And the last word I told, I said to all, I said I got promotion, and he said that's very nice, and that was the last word I heard from him. Thank you.
I'd like to invite our mom and grandma, Marjorie Searles, for another tribute. Good afternoon to everybody. I love everybody while I am living. When I'm dead, I can love you all again. Now, this evening, if I didn't come and say anything, I wouldn't feel as a mother. All mothers hurt in many ways. And we all could, once we have children, we all could identify the hurts. When I was a little girl growing up, I wanted four children. God gave me four children, Yvonne, Kwabena, Roal, and Hannah. He gave me two boys, two girls. Two March, two May. And I got Roal in Karaku. That's why he liked fishing so much. <laughs> when my husband and I went up to Karaku, I don't know, that was the best thing ever happened. When I saw Roal, when we were all born, he was the most beautiful child. Every one of them was beautiful. And I wanted to protect Roll from the snare of the fowl and from the noise and pestilence. But mothers could only do so much. You hear? You bring a child into the world, you can show them the best life. After they get older, they choose which road they want to walk in. You as a mother doesn't want them to walk that road. But what can you do? But get on your knees. When I was praying for Raul, I said, Father, Raul have seven children. God bless him with seven children. Father, whatever your will is for him, let it be done. I cannot do more. I love my, my son. I love all my grandchildren. We reach the age my husband is getting older. I am too. I am not playing no young girl. I'm getting older. But... I know I, am a, I have life. God is helping me. We hold hands every night at 8 o'clock, take off the TV. We pray together. Okay? So God has blessed me and my husband for 61 years we've been married. Yes, we had some rough time. Yes, we went through some turbulent time like the sea. Sometimes it gets so rough and say, I ain't going in that sea. But I hold on to my husband. One time the sweetest quarters I ever get is telling me I want a divorce. Say, no, don't ever tell me that. So I hold on to my husband. I thank God today we are together. We sleep on the same bed. We hug up, we love up everything. Okay? So God bless you all. Have a nice evening. We'll invite up now Olivia for a tribute. Hi. Huh? Oh, you want the button? Good afternoon, everyone. So I didn't know Raul for a very long time, only a few years when he got with my mom. And the change that I see in both of them Love is very powerful, and it brought happiness on both of them. So that's how I know that Raw passed happy. I'm sure he had tiny regrets leaving his children so soon and sudden, but I want all of them to know that we will take care of them, and I know Raw will be happy about that. And I just want mom to know that I will be here for you. I know I can't take the place of you know, the love of your life from all the stories I've been hearing about how they grew up together, how he walked from here all the way to Westerhall <laughs> to see her, and then they find their way back together. I mean, but we could just be grateful that God gave them a few years just to see how you guys would be and just be truly happy. And then, Raul, just know that I would, I'm going to hold it down here in Grenada for you and your family. And then I'm part of your family now. I'm not the Sarah's, but I'm part of it now. Courtesy of Raw, thank you. So we'll be here. And thank you. 
all, and I'll take good care of you guys, okay, Raw? Thank you. I hope you sleep in peace. We'll invite up now some of our friends for more tributes. Good afternoon, everyone. So this tribute is from Sonia, Rawls' older sister. Brother, you will be surely missed. Growing up, you were my baby brother, always adventurous. You and Quabi went to fish in the night and sleep on a steep cliff, not knowing how realized, not knowing how, not realizing how steep it was until the morning broke. As a child, you could not say my name and would always call me Aie. You used to come and wake me up in the night asking for tea. Sometimes I tried to hide from you, but you always found me where I was. You would be terribly missed by all of us, and I hope you are in a better place. So long, my brother, until we meet again. Love you always and forever, Sonia. Next, we invite another tribute from his sister, couldn't be with us today. She sent her love. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Robert Ross neighbor and friend for as long as I can think of. Um, I was just handed a tribute from his little sister, Hannah. And although she's not present with us, if she's looking on, I would like to say, Hannah, I feel very honored to share your tribute, your experience with Raul at his funeral. Raul Leroy, brother there, you left so suddenly. I didn't get the chance to say goodbye. I remember you as my big brother who loved the sea, river, and the bushes. If we weren't building traps to catch birds in Rose Cottage, we were flying kites in Plateau, or the beach fishing, or catching whales, or staying up late in the night after heavy rains so we can go crabbing, or bush bamboo, and eating asham on All Saints Night. Of course, we had our occasional squabbles over chocolate. You were my ride to high school parties. I even remember us sneaking away with Mama and Papa Bus to visit Marcia in Wester Hall. I know you can hear me because you are in heaven watching us. I love you forever, your little sister Hannah. Thank you. Hello everyone, I just wanted to say that Uncle Ro was my favorite uncle. And I'm gonna miss him very much. I remember the first time when I met Uncle Ro. He made this really delicious meal, and I thought, wow, like, this is like the best dish that I've ever tasted. And I thought, like, he was like the best cook. And he promised me that he would teach me 
to me. That, that dish. And now he's gone. And I really hope that one day I will be I just hope that he rests in peace and wherever he's going, he can make really nice food for whoever's with him, whoever's there with him in heaven. I'm going to really miss Uncle Raul. And I really hope that there are more people that could be like him because he was so kind to me. He was the nicest person that I've ever met. And I'm really going to miss him a lot. And it makes me really upset that he had to go so fast. <laughs> it's just not fair because I know that he wanted to do so much and he was supposed to come with us to the beach and I was really sad when he didn't because I didn't understand why he wasn't there. But I know that he's safe now and wherever he's going, he'll be happy. Thank you. I'd like to invite one more person for a tribute. Good afternoon, everyone. According to Google, destiny is the power believed to control what will happen in the future. Well, I really believe that, that explanation because Ron and I, we were destined to be together. Ron and I, we met in high school, Happy Hill Secondary. And I remember the first day we met, his smile. And I always said to him, I love to see your eyes. And he, after many years, we went our separate ways and we had our families. And a few years ago, we reconnected. From that day, I met, um, I, I, I'm scrolling on Facebook, I saw him. And I sent him a friend request and immediately he, sent me a message. Aren't you the, the Master Thomas from Happy Hill? I said, yes, your ex. And from that day, we spoke morning, noon, night, all during my job, Raleigh was, was texting. And I could say we spoke up to the last minute. I was on the phone with him when he died. And that's the most terrifying thing. And Raul, I just have to say this point to you that I saw on Facebook. It's out of the Ashes Facebook. It says, there can be no goodbyes for us. It will be too painful, dear. Our connection still lives on, although you far from here. I miss the times that we once had, but one day, once again, I'll hold you close and laugh with you. I'll just wish you, wish I know when. Each moment till that day arrives, until the time is through, I'll miss you more than words can say, and I'll always think of you. I'll look for you among the stars, you know. Um, doing camping for New Year's, Royal took us camping, and we were sitting on the sand there, and he said, look up, can you see your stars? And I said, no. He said, that one there is my stars, and he said, we have, he couldn't remember what my stars look like, and I'm a Scorpio. So he went on, on um, Google, and he looked at whatever it is, and then he showed me this line of stars with a tail, and he said, that's your star. So Raul, I look among the stars, and each drawn past the sky, and whisper words of love to you, but I will never, never say goodbye. Thank you, everyone.
will now invite Ranel for our second reading. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the deep places of the earth, the strength of the hills in his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands form the dry land. O come, let us worship and hold on. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker, for he is our God, and we are his people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your heart, as his provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my work. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation, and said, it is a people that do err in their hearts, and they have not known my ways. Unto whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. And now we'll have a song by Marshallian. Good afternoon, everyone. All right. I'm just trying to get this to start over. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, because the, everything is not meshed together, so I have to play the music off of my phone. And I was sure by now, Lord, you would have reached out and wiped our tears away, stepped in and saved the day. But once again, I say amen, and it's still raining. But as the thunder roars, I barely hear you whisper through the rain, I'm with you. And as your mercy falls, I raise my hands and praise the God who gives and takes away and I praise you in this storm and I will lift my hands and you are who you are no matter where I am and every tear I cried Lord you hold in your hands you never left my side and though my heart is torn praise you in this storm I remember when you stumbled in the wind you heard my cry you raised me up again my strength is almost gone how can I carry on if I can't find you and as the thunder roar 
I barely hear you whisper through the rain. I'm with you. And as your mercy falls, I raise my hands and praise the God who gives and takes away. And I'll praise you in this storm. And I will lift my hands. And you are who you are. No matter where I am. And every tear I cried. Lord, you hold in your hands. You never left my side. And though my heart is torn. I will praise you in this storm. And though my heart is torn, I will praise you, I will praise you in this storm. Amen. I'll now invite his uh, brothers and buddies from 360 degrees, well, I'll invite Kwabena and Ashton as they do a drumming tribute for us. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming and sharing this moment. Um, Raul was, as you know, a fireman. He lived and worked in an engine. One day when I saw he was adjusting a boat engine, the engine big as half that coffin, and fire spitting water, he had to put water in a, in a boat engine, you know, the in boat, boat engine. Fire blazing on the roof in the garage, people running everywhere, and roll with a screwdriver between the fire and the water, fixing, adjusting, and bringing everything under control. Since then, I just used to bow to him and he see him and say, Buck. because to master your art on this earth is a wonderful thing, you know? And, and we need each other to balance it, you know. You need a mother and father to bring you here in the first place. So all those who feel you could do it alone, you could vision alone, you can purify alone, you can harmonize alone, but if you want to execute, you need your brothers. Thank you, Ashton. We're going to do four, four little pieces for you. Yeah, I'll be sitting here, so I'll just look here. Well, well, we're doing it with you. Sing along, we know them. Heavenly Mother, Heavenly Mother, Heavenly Father, Holy be thy name. Heavenly Mother, Heavenly Mother, Heavenly Father, who now, Holy be thy name.
not strong, I'll be your friend. I will help you carry on. Fiona. Oh, no, it won't be long that I'm going to be somebody to lean on. You might just have a problem and you need a friend. Oh, we all need somebody.
invite now our loving brother and sister, Yvonne and Kwabena, as they share with us a eulogy. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Roald's big sister, <coughs> Yvonne, and um, he will be dearly missed. Good. It'll be the first half, right? Okay. Yeah. Right. Roald Leroy Searles entered Earth on Wednesday, 8th May, 1968, to Leroy and Marjorie Searles at Mount Morris St. George's, Grenada. Mama said she was conceived on the beach in Karakou. Roald was an active boy since childhood. When parents could allow their children to freely roam the bushes, hills, valleys, and sea, mountains, rivers, rocks, and beaches, where the places were the places you will find the little boy and his friends. This love of life and nature remained with Rolf throughout his 53 years on earth. He attended the Mount Morris Anglican Primary School, J.W. Fletcher Memorial Primary School, Palmer, mm -hmm. Happy Hill Secondary School, and GBSS. But sitting down in classrooms five hours a day, five days a week for 14 years was not this boy's thing. Often, he would leave classes for the rivers or seas or forests to explore and hunt. He learned to cook in the bush at an early age, hunting with childhood friends like Ivor, Dooley, Bobby, Osman, Yellowboy, Zagada, Ashton, Byron, Dexter, Antelope, Philip, etc. Too numerous to mention. In fact, the whole community and the surroundings. When he migrated to the USA in 1989, he trained further in auto mechanics and worked with Firestone, Tom and Hardy, the New York Police in Auto Recovery Department, North Glenshell and Grove Tire, among others. He returned to Grenada in 2002 with tools and talent and quickly established himself as a top mechanic. He worked with Steele's Auto and Lockwood Brothers, but preferred his freedom of self-employment. Because whenever the sea called Roll, he listened. He was called to Karakou and Pity Martinique often to work on boat engines. He was instrumental in assisting the Grand Mall and Mount Morris communities to recover after Hurricane Ivan in 2004. Roll learned to earn his family bread from what he loved. He fully engrossed himself with working in the garden, the ocean, or in his auto garage. He was gainfully employed as a chef aboard the Mandela yacht, fisherman, farmer, and of course, master of auto mechanic. <clears throat> Roald fathered seven children. Um, Nelene, Janice, with four mothers, sorry. Roald fathered seven children with four mothers, Nelene, Janice, Fiona, Natalie. He loves children and women, and they loved him too. <laughs> his first two children, Ronell and Wally, reside in the USA, and while his last five children, Chaz, Ethan, Jarrell, Liam, and Kalina, are in Grenada. He has one grandchild. In two grandchild now? <laughs> two grandchild in the US children in the U.S. The mechanic fishing and farming communities in Grenada, Karakou and Pity Matnik knew Roll, right? He created many close friendships with brothers and sisters, too numerous to know or, or, or remember. And he gave nicknames to every one of his friends. He would sing their names. So he didn't, not like he couldn't say Sonia, Aie, that was his start. He started with her, Aie was his nickname. Uh, here are a few, a, few, a few names, okay? I'm not going to mention everybody. It's not possible. Rao. That's Kishan. Uh, Godfrey's daddy. <laughs> Jerry Krifishai. And Stobel Shark is Nebzos. Ivor. Doggy. Mali Kamasi. Frankie boy. 
Spargus and, and Kelon in Karaku, and the whole Karaku crew who had a boat, and you know everybody in Karaku have a boat. Um, uh, Sister Ras, Ibo, Soldier Richard, and the Concord crew. Um, Nathan, Miss Garnetan siblings, Michelle and family, Olivia, Cyrilla, Lady C, Einstein, Ness, Ricky, Ricky, sorry, Leggy, Tyrone, Baba, Marcia and family, Kelly, Gangadin and family, Kerry, Kenny, Ron, Roxy, Ray, the Calabash Ali crew, the Mumbai crew, I mean, Justin, everybody, right? Um, too much to mention, right? His siblings were Sonia, the biggest one in Canada now, Wilton and Trinidad, Yvonne and Corbena standing here, Kara in the USA, and Dolores and Hannah in Texas. Um, so when I told Trump that Royal gone, and that Royal was 53, and his older brother Calvin was also 53 when he left, both of the mechanic, he say that Calvin texts Royal and tell him he's walking on a weed eater and he wants a sparrow, a spanner borrow. So Royal gone to bring the spanner. So if you look in the coffin, you go see a spanner. That's what's going on. <laughs> we have to laugh our boyhood laugh in the middle of our adult pain. So uh, aunt and uncles and family include Uncle Cocky, Auntie June, Uncle Cess, Auntie Erlin, and Edward's family, Satez, who are here, thank you for coming down. Olive and family, and Paula, Roger, Derek, George, Auntie Rosie, who is at 80 something still here, 80, 88, still here. Um, uh, Paula, Jean and family, Irvin and family, David and family, Bonis, Keith, Steve in Australia, Noreen and family. Cousins like in the UK, Sharon, Andy, and family, Lisa, Tony, Amos, Michael, Morel, Leslie, Miriam, Val, all you watching over. I'm Francis, <laughs> Lydia, and family, it's Lydia, our song leader. Ravel, Rendell, Ravon, Rennell, Joshina, how much, how much, how much you give them? <laughs> Cosley, Ozamin, Melvin, Anama, Simran, our, his, uh, his uh, nephews and niece, they call it. So they need the love, the love you're connected with, you know. Simran, Brinsley, Heavenly, Kylie, Katisha. Ashley, and, and, and we're going to spend the rest of the night calling names, but not now. Royal hobbies include, well, kite flying, right? And his children fly kite every day, whether kite season or not. Busting bamboo, all foes. All foes up in the country in the night. I, I drum in and they play in all foes. Um, dominoes, you know, drumming, of course. We started drumming as little boys um, outside the step, you know, with, in juice jug and pot and pan and things. So we started, you know, Milo, Pan and Empty Clinton. A nice fancy drum today, but in our days, we created our own drums. Now we have all the way from West Africa, Jembe's. Diving, of course, hunting and hiking with a food objective. Now, we all don't want to go on a hike if we just hike in and go on bait. No, you have to find some food or hunt along the way. So that's the kind of hike he used to go on. The legacy is that he has left assistance to the community. We all help people more than he helped himself. You're talking about sacrifice for other people and laying down your life. Ah, that, was his, that was his legacy. He was a genius in auto mechanic. The only problem he couldn't fix is the one you didn't bring for him. Yes. And in the midst of his personal chaos, he was focused enough to just go to the problem. He consulted online. People called him and, and get consultation and diagnosis, buy the parts and bring it for me, install it. And he also guided them in installation. He would let them you know, put on the video and, and let's start the car and, and, and he would diagnose through the phone. <sighs> And, but the most important thing about Raul is that smile boss. You know, in the middle of Raul pain, he used to smile. Anything comes to Raul, he will eventually smile about it and send you away a little better. And you came. So about 9 p.m. on Friday, the 22nd of April, 2022, after working all day with chest pains, he complained he had a little chest pain from diving the previous day, Raul fed his children, took a shower, and went to bed. He told them to come for their last hugs and to take care of each other. And then, while talking on the phone with his sweetheart, he took his last breath and peacefully left. His last words were, Liam, put on the light for Dada. Liam, put on the light for Dada. We thank you. All the family, all of us, all of us, all of us is family. Thank you for expressing your grief and expressing your care and concern. Thank you for being here. All his associates, his friends, his loved ones, and community members who have been fortunate to interact or unfortunate to, fortunate to interact with him. Thank you. God bless you. 
Thank you. God bless all of us. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. We'll invite Lydia as she leads us in the last song this afternoon here for the closing of the casket. Uh, thereafter, we'll leave the service and uh, head over to our Mount Morris Cemetery for the entombment. There will be We'll share a meal together. There'll be eats and drinks at the Mount Morris Community Center after the entombment. If, uh, if you'd like to come up or, or say anything or share anything, we can do that as we sing our last song here together. Thank you, everyone. In the sweet by and by. There's a land that is fairer than day, and by faith we can see it afar. For the Father looks over the way to prepare us a dwelling place. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on the beautiful shore. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on the beautiful shore. We shall sing on the beautiful shore. The melody. should come up to see or and say goodbye to Rawl as we're about to close the casket. Thank you. Anyone want to take the last view when we're about to close the casket? You may do so now. Thank you. When the roll is color, when the roll is color, piano. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more, and the morning breaks eternal bright and fair. When His chosen ones shall gather to their home beyond the sky, and the roll is color, piano.
last morning when the dead in Christ shall rise. I'll now invite up Pastor Rall. Pleasant good afternoon to all those who are in house. Could I get a response? Thank you very kindly. My condolences to the Cedars family, to the entire community of Mount Morris. I am feeling your pain. Not because I have the same name. Yes, my name is also Rawl. I don't know if it's a coincidence. We are celebrating the life of one who was gone. And now you are listening to one who is alive. Give God the praise. I have been really enjoying the service and everything that went with it, given the short time that we had to prepare. When you do things together, it goes quickly, just like that. So I want to commend all those who were able to put everything together. I was not supposed to be here, but... In situations like this, you have to fit in without question. So you must have the word before we depart. In all that was said and done, the word of God 
is important because it stands and lives forever. Would I get an amen? amen? Yes. Uh, this evening's reading is taken from the book of Mark, chapter 4, beginning from verse 35. Few people would walk with the Bibles when they go to funeral, yeah? Chapter 4, and beginning from verse 35. And the same day, when the evening was come, and he said unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, thinking about Roar, so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship asleep on a pillow. And they awake him and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Amen. Father the God, we thank you for your word. Let it be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Let it strengthen us today in this hour of need. Father, it is your spirit. Not me or my words. I'm just the instrument. I'm like that wrench in that carpenter. Or a hammer in the hand of a carpenter. The instrument. Today, my little sermon is entitled, Jesus, the Master of the Storm. And as I listen to all the tributes and all the stories about Rawl, you know, sometimes it's funny when you call your own name. And I said, this was made just for him. This little sermon was tailored for him. I didn't know what was going to come. And then I look at the program and I saw one about a storm, a song. So I got the cue one time. I want to tell us this evening that the storms of life occur without most times warning. There have been so many sudden deaths. We hear of that one with that boat in, in uh, that place down in the south. Marianne. Woban, sorry. 23 or something like that. And we hear of so many others young people here and there, just in the twinkling of an eye, without warning, snapped away. This sermon is not for all disease. This sermon is for all alive. It's for me and it's for all of us. So I want us to get us straight. Let us remember that we must go through to get through. Storms of life are not meant to destroy us, to deter us, but to strengthen us. At any one point in time, any one point in time in life, you are either going through a storm like it is right now 
getting out of a storm like you're almost getting out or getting into a storm any one time why the bible says this world is full of troubles and none of us can stop it when you think of these people in ukraine right now it sends you nuts i follow it i follow it dearly sometimes in the night i just have to get up from my bed and go in a quiet place and go down in prayer because the burden is so heavy Christ says we ought to bear one another burdens. So when I saw people weeping, I felt good. Right? So big man weeping. Jesus wept. When I saw the humility on with which the monitor directed things, gentleman, this gentleman, I don't know him by name. But you really blessed my heart. Yes, you. Sometimes you can see through people just like you see through a glass window. Claire. The humility. And we're going to see it in Christ. And that has, to, that has to sap through into you. The storms of life are to build and not to break us. In this world you would have troubles. But with God... All things are possible. All things are possible. Say it with me. All things are possible. With God, all things are possible. You know why I'm asking you to say it? Because the Bible says the power of life and death is in the... Yes. That is why we are, it is so important that what we utter... We, we must do all the checks and balances, the full stops, the comma, the question mark, before we let it go. I read on a bus, they say words are like a rock. Once you let it loose, you cannot control it. I love it. Yes, I usually read some of the stuff on the buses at the back. I say I will be shot. In this passage, we see Jesus just chilling out or relaxing, like Raul did in a situation I heard when there's fire and he's biting up to, to close off something. Right? It reminds me where Jesus, the storm is going on and he's asleep. And his disciples ponging him and waking him up. in the storm for fear I said fear and could I give you a little fear right now one of us inside here is next whether we want it whether we believe it whether we know it, whether we like it. Now, if you know beforehand that it might be me or it might be you, what do you do? You know, we make preparations for every single thing in life. A big wedding, oh boy, months before, all kind of online stuff. A baby shower, oh, sometime before baby born. We know it's a boy and we start buying up those blue things. And all kind of nice. And yes, it's happening. Before birth. Anniversaries. Big stuff. I'm not so far behind you. I reached 42. 42 and going, yes. Sometimes I ask people to guess my age and they get very confused. I wouldn't tell you today. <laughs> you, it, it would just shock you. 
But I want us to understand that God is all powerful. And we see it in Mark chapter 4, verse 39. And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still. Those words were powerful. That's the power of the great I am. That's the one we must do business with all the time. Because he is the omnipotent. That means no one is above. Not even Putin. I'm giving you just takeaways. Jesus has a purpose for each one of us in our lives. Remember, our purpose is to serve God and serve humanity. I bring it down just the two. Because sometimes, you know, we go scratching, searching, what, what, what. Serve God and serve humanity. I think he really served humanity. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Amen for all. Amen. Mm. You know, when I heard the drumming, it took me right back to Africa. I spent three years there. And it was wonderful getting back to motherland and getting back to the roots. So that drumming was very powerful for me because I was traced back right back to our roots. It's good that we know our roots and where we came from. We lost it on the way. But remember, God doesn't care if you are Indian, Negro, Spanish, Chinese or whatever. He's the same God yesterday, today and forever and he's willing, ready and able to keep you, especially in times of storm. Jesus always keep his promises. In the book of Numbers chapter 24 and verses 19 and 20 out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion and shall destroy him that remaineth of the city. And when he looked on the Amalekite, he took up his, power, his, his parade, parable sorry, and said, Amalek was the first of the nations, but the latter end shall be that he perish forever. When God says something has to happen, nobody and nothing would stop it or could stop it. Now the thing is, this is someone we should get as close to as possible, yes? When a child gets hurt, who he runs to? Who she runs to? Mom, dad, uncle, whoever is there, right? When we get hurt, in any way, shape, or form, we must run to our big daddy with haste. Why? Because he's always there, 24-7, no holiday. That's good stuff, you know, man. Jesus always keeps his promises. So if he says he would never leave you, nor forsake you, that's what it means. That's what it would be from now until. He said, weep he may come for a time. It's all right to weep. Jesus himself wept. Because we are human and we are emotional beings. So if you feel like screaming out, just do it. Yeah. But joy would come in the morning. It's only for a time on a season. Jesus is the prince of peace. When he says peace be still. When he says peace on earth. Goodwill to man. It comes to pass. Jesus is always in control. I think one of the persons who were. Uh, doing tribute, ask why. It's all right. You can ask why. 
But the Lord knows best at all times. Because his intelligence is super, super unmatchable. That's why he said, in everything, give thanks. Sometimes it's difficult to do that. Sometimes it's almost impossible to do that. But that's what he says. That's what he says. I mean, imagine Abraham, his only son, that was born in, in so old an age, past bearing age. And the Lord asking him to sacrifice. How would that, you know, his nation be like the sand and the seashore when the only son has to be crucified? We're going to ask God all kinds of things. Yeah? And as he raised the knife, ready, that's where he stopped. And that was to prove his faithfulness. God has to test us. We must go through the fire. Remember Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Remember Daniel in the lion's den. I too have lost a mom. I too have lost a dad that I never knew. I didn't grow up with a father. Mm -hmm. So how come God has made me what I am today? Make yourself available. And God would use you. Each one of us have a purpose. As I see the different people come up, I said, yes, God can use him. Yes, God can use him there. Yes, God can use her there. Remember two things. We are to serve God and to serve humanity. This is why a funeral or wedding must not be the only times when you come inside here. Why I should say that? I like to back it up with scripture. Forsake not, finish. Forsake not the assembling. Forsake not the assembling. Because when we assemble, iron sharpens iron. When we assemble, we strengthen one another so that we can face the storms of life. Because I said they would come. This is a still thing on today. We don't know whose own it would be tomorrow. We don't know whose own it would be this evening. But we must be able to fill in the gap. And you see that thing called prayer? Don't joke with that. Don't joke with that one. Did you know it is the strongest weapon? I say weapon because we are fighting a war. I say weapon because there is an enemy out there after our souls. So even today, we must trust him. I'm almost done. Some takeaways. Anyone who trusts in him or do business with him will never be disappointed. Romans 10, 19, 13. Whether young or old, we all face uncertain futures. We may plan, but your point, and God may disappoint. God's love and goodness encircles us no matter what awaits us. This is why it is so important to start your day with prayer, to start your day with the Lord, to start your day in the Lord, because you don't know what would happen on that bus. Remember that big stone that fell on that bus in Concord up there? And so many accidents. And when they relieve it, you, they say, that's the last thing that person said. Or the last thing that person did. 
How would you like to be remembered? That's what I want to leave with you this evening. You heard the whole story. After Jesus calmed the storm, he asked a penetrating question. Why are you fearful? How is it that you have no faith? God is a safe dwelling place in life storms. God does not give us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and a sound mind. And as I close, don't let this moment pass you by. Jesus is waiting with his arms open wide. He's willing to supply all of the needs in your life. Take my advice. Don't let this moment pass you by. You can sing with me. Don't. Don't let this moment pass you by. Jesus is waiting with his arms open wide. He's willing to supply all of the needs in your life. So take my advice. Don't let this moment pass you by. Oh, Jesus is here right now. All of your soul he'll satisfy And up your needs he will supply I know he's here Right now Take my advice Don't let this moment pass you by Take my advice Don't let this moment pass you by Take my advice, don't let this moment pass you by. What moment I'm talking about? The moment to give your heart to Jesus. And it is very simple, like A, B, C. Hey, you heard it so much, I don't even want to go there. I just want the Holy Spirit to do the conviction. I am just the postmaster. Amen and amen. amen. Thank you, Pastor Raw. I'll invite up Marcy as she gives a vote of thanks. I just want to thank everyone for coming out to this celebration with us. I just want to give a special thank you to Pastor Raw Charles. Maybe we related because I'm also a Charles. <laughs> So maybe we are. Um, and members of the Holiness Church, both in the USA and here in Grenada, the community, especially of Calabash Alley, um, we're all obviously Reds and Rahim and Ryo and everybody. The boys of Concord, Daddy, Jerry, Alwyn and everybody. The Seals, the Searles, the Griffith, and all friends and family of whom Raul touch in some way or the other, too numerous to mention. I just want to say thanks again for coming out. We will head into the cemetery and then to the community center. So have a good afternoon and thanks again. I now invite Lydia as she shares a sh closing prayer with us.
We've been sitting for a little while. Can we shall we all stand, please? So let us bow your heads with me as we reverence the Lord as we leave this house. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you this afternoon for your love, for your grace, and for your mercies. We thank you, Lord, for holding up the weather so nicely for this blessed service today. There is a God. There is a God. And he is real. There is a God. And he is real. And so we thank you, Father, for all your tender mercies and your blessing. We pray, oh God, that you will bless each one of us here today. Each one that put out themselves to be here to show appreciation to the family of all. We ask, Lord, that you will bless them and help them, Lord Jesus, to give their life to you so that when their time comes to go, they will live in peace and with expectation of seeing your face. Bless us as we leave this building, but not from your present. In Jesus' name. Thank you, everyone. Uh, let us go with love and togetherness and appreciate this life. Thank you, everyone.
Je suis un peu de Yeah, I could right up as well. You know, you think it's... Huh? You think it's just the sun right now? Is it right back? And you do that. You close your whole No, you have You have more stuff. You have more to come. That is dream of Africa. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Regular and I want it to close them. Well, I'm always Welcome once again to the burial site of our dear brother Roel. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? 
For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God, a house not made with hands, eternal in heaven. Yes. For as much as the spirit of the departed had returned to God who gave it, we therefore lay away this body in Mother Earth. Yes. In doing so, we sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so then also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not precede them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we be ever with the Lord. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. Thus thou art, and thus thou shall return. All right, whoever is leading the choir may start with the groove side uh, songs. I guess you walk with your paper so you can move to the songs. Whoever is going to be leading.